got to live it up. I'm on a new level. Everything I touch turn to gold. Ain't I something special? This one for my haters. I'm a motivator. I make them niggas wanna do better. I want too much. I can never sell it. Set up for less, nigga. I can never. She did better. I probably would've kept her. But oh boy, I found something better. And she gon' do me better. If you had the opportunity, bro, the opportunity presented itself for you to fight, like, let's just say you in, you in 12 round shape or 5 round shape, you know what I'm saying, and you had the opportunity professionally to fight anybody you want to fight in the game, boxing or MMA, or you can give me both of them, who, who would you take on? Boxing or MMA to fight anybody right now? Yeah. Um, well, I would take on Mike Tyson. Okay. Um, I think So since you mentioned uh, Logan Paul and Jake Paul, let me ask you this: Was it Logan Paul versus Mayweather good for boxing or bad for boxing? It was great for boxing. Why? Wow. Felt like it opened the uh, the eyes to the people who weren't really watching. Like what? Well, so, like uh, especially for the for for the uh, you know the underground fighters, because yeah. you know they consider J uh, Logan Paul as a YouTuber. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's gonna bring a lot more money into the boxing world, which is already a lot of money into the boxing world. But I feel like. It's gonna bring more entertainment with the YouTubers and everybody coming in now. Mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, yeah. With McGregor, I'm gonna have to go with that money They're card. I mean, fight. McGregor's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, one of the best fighters in the history of fighting. I, in, in my eyes, you know what I'm saying, all around, he he's great. He, I mean, he gave he gave Floyd a run for his money there for a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But then again, he's in there with one of the best. You know what I'm saying? And and not even one of the best, one of the best cornermen too. They got you gotta you gotta take that in. You know what I'm saying into advice too that not only does Mayweather know what he's doing is he's got a, a corner that's gonna tell him, mate, this is what's going on. Use this, and he's gonna be able to win two or three rounds just off of tactics. Yeah, smart. How long have you been a uh, street beef champion? How long have I been a street beef champion? Yes, sir. Um, I've been a street beef champion for. I think about two years now. What is it like being the champ of Street Beast? Cause you know Street Beast is one of the, if not the biggest underground fighting platform that's 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 on YouTube right now. You know what I'm saying? So, what is it like being champ? <laughs> uh, it's um, it's a positive. It's it's actually something I I look up to. It's it's something that you know. It's a little nerve wracking sometimes when you have like everybody that's coming up against you is usually like three or four and oh, so you know you're going to be fighting decent fighters most of the time when you go in there. Um, I don't really get to any exhibition matches. Every now and then I'll have some call outs, but it, it can be, um, it can be nerve wracking just because I know that I have to keep myself in shape and I know I have to get up every day and make some type of grind and some type of effort to keep myself. Mm -hmm. Maintain to where I don't lose anything that I have. For sure. All right. So, um, like, like with the belts, do um, is it is it any like certain certain amount of time like that you have it to where you get to keep it? Like, like for instance, if you if you if you decided to stop street beefs today, would you be able to keep the belt, or you have to so many uh, title defenses or something like that? How they work? Um. So with the belts or whatever. Um. I don't know how that how far we because we the belts have just been introduced. We haven't had too many people doing like title defenses and stuff. I'm just now having my fourth title defense, mm. so I'm sure that there's other people that have maybe had one or two, maybe three, up to four, possibly. I don't know too many people that have four title defenses right now. So I think there's going to be a, like a wall of fame or something introduced eventually on that with the actual champions and how many title defenses they do. Mm. We haven't um, we haven't actually even talked about that situation yet, so that'll be up and coming. That'll be something to look forward. So y'all win? Do y'all like take the bills home with y'all, or, or, or does it stay? No, actually, right now um, we don't. Uh, I don't. I haven't had a belt taken home personally at all yet. 
Um, I don't know what's going on with that situation, but usually the um, the belts are at the that they're at the events, but they're not in well shape. If I could, if I would put it that way. Mm. So I think he's um, working on getting some new ones made. Mm. So I'm not too, you know, what I'm saying sure on that. Like I haven't really talked to him about it because, as far as I see it, I'm still the champion. It's yeah. in, in my, yeah. I'm the champion. I'm saying yeah. It's all that matters. And that belt, whether it's around me or not, these hands still gonna fly. So yeah. As far as, as far as that, I'm, I'm sure he's got something planned uh, as like a gift or something. That's why it hasn't been spoken on. So hmm. you know, I kind of just keep it in the back of my mind. Hey, what's up? Who is your favorite street beef fighter, if any? My favorite street beef fighter? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to have to go with Money Mill right now because um, I brought him in under, underneath my wing right now. He's uh, 3-0, and so make sure y'all go look up Money Mill. Money Mill. Uh, yeah, I've been training him for about uh, two, three months right now, so he's looking real good. Um, but my second favorite fighter would have to be Bad News. Hmm. Y'all go check out Bad News. Bad News came in with no experience and actually started grinding in the gym and showing, you know what I'm saying, that he really wanted it. So I think he's like 14-0 and right now. Damn. So shout out, shout out to Bad News. Y'all go check him out also. Okay, I'm going to take him out too. All right, uh... Outside of fighting, bro, what what you like to do? Uh, you got any other any other talents, hidden talents like music or? Yeah, I be on the um, NBA 2K. Uh, I'm on the PlayStation 5. So if you want to get me on there, Street Fighter Turn. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I stay on the um, Call of Duty Cold War, Madden. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to do, I'm on the game. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, really? I stay on the PlayStation Network for sure. Um, and another hobby, I, I like my weed, man. Man, yeah, I, I, so like, I, if I, can get, I can get a few different flavors of, you know what I'm saying, whatever, I, you know what I'm saying, that's one of my hobbies, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I, let me ask you this, Mike, because that's, 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 that's a big thing, and I know a few people, a new, a, a, a few people who, who can do this, and it's a, some people can't, you know what I'm saying, like, it's a few fighters who can smoke, man, and work out, and fight, and be okay, and other people can't, like, what's, what, what's your take on, you think it's all a mind thing, when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, standing, shopping, uh, and smoking, or? Hell no, nah, man, let's see, look. I'm going to tell you right now, I feel it when I'm in there, but I'm the person that runs seven miles, like, maybe two or three times a week, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, it's more of, if I'm going to smoke, I know I have to push myself that extra mile or two to be like, okay, this is what I'm allowing myself to do. I'm not over here smoking and not running, you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. if you're going to be doing any type of extra activities, you need to make sure that you're pushing yourself extra, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? On the weekends and not doing too much. And make sure you drink your water and all that extra stuff and take care of yourself because smoking is not good for you. I'm not going to sit here and say it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was so cool, bro. Like, you be doing MMA, bro. And it take, it, it take a lot of conditioning, bro. I, I wouldn't sit here and tell anybody to smoke and then become a fighter. I'm not going to say that at all. <laughs> but that's definitely one of my hobbies, though. I need, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like. As a med- it's medical for me. It's medicine to me. Like I got a lot of anxiety and you know what I'm saying other issues in life that where it's like smoking. You know, kind of it just helps me calm down and go to sleep at night and wake up refreshed and ready to go in the morning. Uh, I feel lit. All right, uh, what's your favorite fight movie, bro? My favorite fight and movie. Yes, sir. Uh, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so many of them. <laughs> yeah. Probably kickboxer. Kickboxer. Yeah, they had all the Muay Thai dudes yeah. and stuff going on, and then he went and got the training. Yeah, because yeah. his brother killed or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you ever thought about uh, trying Muay Thai? Man, see, I wouldn't go across seas and do no Muay Thai because them dudes been training for years. So if I actually took the time, you know what I'm saying, and actually did the training, then yeah, but. Man, them dudes be breaking <laughs> each other's legs and shit. Like, yeah, it's a different ball game. Yeah, I mean, them leg kicks is a whole different world, man. Like I said in MMA, I don't even enjoy them leg kicks. I could, I couldn't even imagine somebody that actually been training Muay Thai to kick me in my shit, man. Like, <laughs> 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 Use my language, but man. Yeah. Uh, you really. know, know it hurts, bro. You know it hurts both sides. <laughs> regardless, if you check it, it's gonna hurt them and it's gonna hurt you at the same time. So it's just like, do you eat the kick? Do you let it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or do you put your shin out there and protect yourself? Yeah, it's a, that's it. That shit sound like it's a lose lose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing is so hard. It's like, do I really put my shin in front of that kick? Yeah. <laughs> hey. I-